Watch on Twitch. Da da da. All right, so this is the doubles overuse invitational finals. Uh, we've got SMB, yep. who's uh, been here before, right? Probably several times. Won a whole lot of tourneys. Everyone I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Five years. <laughs> um, an extremely, extremely dominant player. No surprise to see them here. Uh, I think SMB was the number one seed for the circuit for this year. Uh, and then yep. on our yep. side, we have Zifable. They they made a name for themselves in DPL, which was almost a year ago now, uh, coming over from VGC. And has just gotten better and better as the year has gone on. And now she is in the Invitational Finals. So um, we see a Spectrier from SMB and a Stack Attacker from Z. I love both of these teams. Yeah, they, these teams look really interesting, especially the matchups present here like smb has a kiram b that may possibly be dragon dance but it's more likely to be assault vest given the lack of a uh, re redirector on the team and the presence of other setup sweepers and z's team on the other hand has interestingly stack attacker i'm not sure if stack attacker could get trick room against this composition though if it does oh, it set could. trick room up it's it, if it does, it's really, re it really, really does go in against. Also, SMB's look at team. SMB's team and look at Nialigo, and then look at SMB's team again. SMB has no rock resists and two rock weeks and two poison yep. weeks, and Nialigo outspeeds everything SM. except for Spectrier. Hmm. So this Nialigo is definitely going to be the key to winning for Z. She's got to preserve it well. Well, I. I hope this Landris is scarfed. I just, I really want to see it. Well, I think if you're Z, I don't want to see it. It would be bad for Z. You can only fake out either Rilla or Lando, yeah, I... <laughs> and both have the ability to one shot uh, Nihiligo. So if I'm Z, I'm switching out here. Or I guess it's, I, aside from scarf, you could fake out the Rilla Boom and Meteor Beam the Landris, but still, I would, I would totally, I think, preserve the Nihiligo here. Well, although you don't have any great switch ins, really, well, to Landris, yeah. Rilla Boom. Per Personally, I re I would scout for Scarf, to be honest. I mean, it's though it's, it's kind of weird because faking out and switching would involve something going really, really There's bad and taking a big hit. And we see a double up into it. It's Scarf. It wow. is indeed Scarf. Great call <laughs> by... <laughs> great call Memo and great call Z. That's an insanely good play by Z. Yep. Wow. Yeah. And now he's in an incredible, incredible spot. Yep, this Nihilego can blow something up with a Meteor Beam. It could, it will blow up the Landorus Eye if the Meteor Beam hits it. Though I assume this isn't really interested in taking that hit and it will probably switch out. But what does the, it switch um, out into, dude? Yeah, that's the thing. It, <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. Although honestly, it's, if you're it's Z, a really though, bad you're... spot. So because I, there is here, no rock resists. Do you just switch out into Serena and then nuke something with Meteor Beam? I guess there you're assuming that Rillaboom well, does not have Wood Hammer or High Horse Power, but given that it went for Grassy yes. Glide turn one, it probably doesn't. Although if it's Banded, does Banded Rillaboom Oko Nihiligo? It might actually. Hmm. I'm still uh, not sure if you want to leave Nihiligo. I'm pretty sure Bandit does kill, yeah. You might yeah, not want I'm to kill I'm pretty sure it. if this Rillaboom is indeed Bandit, it will kill, considering Nihiligo has like zero for defense. SMB has used Bandit Rillaboom before. He used to run a team with uh, Weakness Policy, Galarian Moltres, Weakness Policy, Zygarde, and Draining Kiss, uh, whatchamacallit, Comfy. And that team had a choice Bandit Rillaboom. Hmm. So he's no stranger to it. Uh, and on a team like this, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised to see it. Um, Z Fable could also like try to knock off Sludge Bomb the Rilla Boom and not give this Landorus Eye any respect. Uh, like, assuming That's a protect a or something like that. Play, considering Lando can just choose a kill. Well, this Landorus Eye isn't that big of a problem anymore. Right. Maybe Feeny considering it's enough, also now itemless. Kiram and Feeny both come in. Kiram gets knocked. Yep, Zephable also does that. And the Meteor Beam and Zephable also does. Well, he did, she, uh, they didn't uh, actually do the play I mentioned, which was to double target the 
Yeah. Real the move, I don't see bro, this is how still she a great loses outcome. the game from here, honestly. I don't see how she loses. Yeah. This Nihil this Nihilego is now against uh Kieran B that's without an assault vest, which means that it's confirmed to be not protect and confirmed to be dying. Basically this Kiram slot is gonna die. And this Tapu Fini, I'm not we're not sure if it will really do anything. If it's scarf, it definitely won't kill this Nihilego. If it's consi uh, considering Nihilego is really, really fat special defensively. And if it specs it or any other item really, it just gets pinned down by the Sarah yep, Aura. And Z does not make any predictions this turn goes for the very safe power uh, power gem into Kiram and Plasma Fists into Fini. And could this be a 6-0 without taking damage? <laughs> could this be El Rapo already? This is SMB's game one over. This is game one over. SMB has right no now. shot at winning this. Yeah, this, 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 is, this might be a 6-0, to be honest. But I think SMB went down, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Went down 1-0 in the semifinals and came back to win. Could be misremembering. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I don't really remember. Uh, last week was too long ago. Knock off on the spec at limb, surprisingly. It has a weak weakness fall. policy. It disables the power gem. And Len... <laughs> that's a... Se that's a sequence of events that I did not Hilarious. expect. Hilarious. Weakness to be policy disables what? Spectre. Only SMB. Gosh darn it. Okay, why is Stack Attack coming uh, stack in Stack Attack... Uh, it doesn't Stack Attack... Is it Sash? It forces... Is it, it Sash forces Attack? To, uh, well, it... It forces to be tar uh it forces SMB to target it because Trick Room is gonna win Z the game. Basically. Is it Sash Attacker? Oh my god, and SMB does not attack it and it gets the Trick Room up. Wow, well I guess this is the yep. game now, right? It's not over yet. I didn't think yeah, SMB would call it. It got back really into this. spicy for it got spicy for some reason, like it got this spicy angle for some on reason. the Nihilego. Z's now forced to go for rock moves, which are not 100% accurate. I guess she could gyro the Lando, but realistically you want to go for a rock slide or stone edge here. Maybe a gyro ball, well, I don't you know. probably just gyro the Lando, and you just gyro the Lando anyway. That's true. Uh, I wonder what set this... is not doing anything. Yeah. You think this is... Incineroar uh, is not a threat here. A substitute on... Canyon. Well, Incineroar is a threat because you can fake it. No, you might have to double target Lando this turn to guarantee no KO. Oh, yeah, Gyro Ball. Oh, well, that, that happens. <laughs> that happens. And it's a defense boosting stack attack. Uh, let's see if that crit mattered. That's stack body attack, press, uh, definitely. Landorus. If we assume max attack, I'm pretty sure Gyro that... Ball at minus one. 62 to 73 it did 66 that was a 75 percent ish chance roll to kill but it was not a guaranteed kill. okay <laughs> and then the heat wave burn Roll all right now it's burn. over now it's over but yep, that uh over. that gyro it ball had a, being... like a about a 30 percent chance to not kill the landers that was not a guaranteed kill yeah that's still a decent odds though but yeah this went from uh, El Rapo, and then it became a game, and then it became not a game again. <laughs> El Rapo. It was really, really interesting. <laughs> it was wrapped like a Christmas but, present. Yeah. The kids tore it open, and then they rewrapped the same gift for next year. <laughs> yeah. That game went really, really quickly. Sure did. Who do the Patriots play today? I think they do. Let's go. I want everybody to see no. this. Everybody look at this. It's game oh, two. Wait, the Jags are 2-13. and 13. That's not really anything. Uh, game two Damn, is why is there Yoda. a Milo tick? <laughs> oh my why god. I love tick? SMB and I love Z people. <laughs> okay, so I was using five out of these six mons on Z's team on ladder today. Um, the only difference was Urshifu <laughs> was Akiram, I want to say. I think it was Akiram. Um, so this Whimsicott yeah. is almost certainly... Four out of the five moves of Moonblast, fake Protect, Fake Tears, Encore, and Tailwind. Pretty likely. Four out of those five. If we yep. see a Landers and an Ialigo, almost certain. Tailwind and Fake Tears are guaranteed, virtually. Uh, but, of yeah. course, we do I, see I SMB with a Tapu Lele, which is more or less the best counter to, to Whimsicott. It can still get up Tailwinds, but uh, Z does not have a terrain setter of her own. SMB has Psychic Terrain, blocking priority for everything except for the Landorus. I gotta say, I like well, this matchup for SMB. If, 
I'm not sure if this matchup is really great as you are implying. Like, look at Celestila and look at SMB's team. SMB's best answer is pretty much Naga Nadel and I'm not sure if there's any real Rob, other answers anymore. Like, Rosma, right? It's gotta be. Me, but Naga Nadel gets to nuke something. I think on this Either team, a Draco onto Urshifu or a Fire Blast onto Celestial, which wouldn't kill it, but would do amazing things. This has got to be Coil Milotic, yeah. no? It probably it's Hypnosis, probably Psychic coil, as well. Muddy water. Considering the oh my goodness, I think you're right. And if we look at Z, she has, dude. Z does not have great ways of dealing with this Milotic with Psychic Terrain, Psychic Seed, and Milotic. No Toxic for sure anywhere. Yeah. Maybe Steela has Leech Seed, but honestly, I doubt it. Most Stella Steelas are three attacks with Meteor Beam nowadays. Maybe Wide Guard. Yep. Uh, I, I yeah, I'm this seeing Milo the Milotic might sweep actually here. win the game. Yeah, I'm seeing a Milotic sweep. We see no Tapu Fini. Yeah, to and a trainer for Misty Terrain or whatever. Oh, that's not a good protect. That's not a good protect, Z. We see a nuke, and we're gonna see a coil that's, right now. Uh, nuke and a coil. Yep, that's not that's a good a protect, Z. Too much of a soul read. <laughs> and I think. game two goes to too SMB. much of a soul read. We see. Um, we definitely see. Oh, that Nagadell was switch out into Lele here, right? I guess Z can capitalize on that and yep, flash can I... the Naga, so it's not. Yeah, if you're Z, you've got to you've got to I think double attack the Naga Nadel here with like a Moon Blast and a Flash Cannon or something, and try to make it so that terrain will end in five turns. I'm guessing that double up yeah, will kill it. But I think if you okay, Lele comes yeah, in. But I does think Z if you're SMB, you just go to top with Lele. Yeah. Does Z see this coming? Z does not it is see indeed this psychic coming. Seed no. That no. Yep, indeed, Psychic Seed, and yet going top Lele here was absolutely correct to stop exactly that from happening. Stop the Encore from encoring your Melodic, and stop any funny business from this Whimsicott. And it's and Thunderbolt! If, Let's well, go! <laughs> SMB coming yeah, back game two like with a found... vengeance. Jesus. Yeah, I was looking at this team it i was in thought yeah it probably is thunderbolt considering this team's celestial matchup is what item is this layer that's not specs damage pick. is it that's not specs thunderbolt that's probably scarf or maybe like more of like a citrus yeah something. it's probably scarf yeah considering yeah. this team doesn't really have scarf. any scarfer yeah Let's unless scarf. it's lando eye or something okay. but yeah it's most likely scarf considering it's so gone whimsicott chunked Ice Beam? Alright, SMB probably needs so to protect, no protect the Milotic and get, or not protect, but need to get Tapu Lele Wait. out of here, right, to reset terrain. It's later. not even Water Stab. The Milotic isn't even Water Stab. That's interesting. Oh, that's true. That's true. Ice Beam probably for uh, Rillaboom. Although, SMB, if you were a real human being, you'd run uh, Blizzard and not Ice Beam. <laughs> Alright, we see the Landorus <laughs> come in. We see yeah, Ice that's Beam. Actually okay. crazy. This is a pretty safe Ice Beam into Lando and Earth Power into Naga, right? For your SMB. Very safe. Hmm. I think so. Yep. You sack Lando. That's fine, honestly. No problem there. Lando yeah, just take EP. the trait. Yep. When you're at the no crit. When you, you have an advantage kill. like this, simplifying is just correct. Yep. Yeah. And now either Whimsicott comes just in, which is down nothing, material. or Incineroar comes in and gives Milotic the special attack boost. Although, honestly, the special attack boost doesn't matter that much. Still. Yeah. Z Fable has to like get one million crits in a row to win. And I'm not even Z... sure. Uh, yeah. Z needs a lot of crits win. in a row yeah. to win. This yeah. looks this looks pretty much unlosable for SMB. This is pretty much unlosable for SMB. Yep. Pretty close to it. Because Whimsicott yeah, does not have Moonblast at this point, I'm pretty sure. It definitely yeah. has fake tears. So Whimsicott is totally dead meat, which means you can just ice beam and psychic the Nile Ego very safely. And even if you crit, Nile Ego goes down, yep. and then it's just Whimsicott and Incineroar, and that's not enough damage to win the game. Yep, Side Shock comes out, and this yeah. is game two going to SMB. Yep. How considerate of these two players. They know I'm up late, so they're playing really fast for me. Wow. I really yeah, appreciate Yeah, these are it. fast <laughs> games and interesting ones. I wonder what teams are going to see game three. I hope they're this crazy. That's a really yeah. cool team by SMB, though. I really like that team. Yeah, that's a really, really unique team in this metagame for sure. And the finals of the DOU Invitational going to game three. This one's for all the marbles.
So let's see. We've seen a stack attacker. We've seen a spectrier. Damn. Oh, this came Wait. up. Wait. Ooh, wee. I guess okay. The, one of these has got to be Jail Mew, right? This has got to be a Jail Mew on one of these sides. It's probably, not Jail, sorry. I, don't think I mean, Jail uh, Mew. I mean, Demon Mew. Demon, demon Mew. Demon, demon. Not Jail. Yeah. Demon Mew. Z does like Demon Mew. They're and probably we see a Tabu both Fini also. Mew. I bet Z's Mew is Demon Mew. Yeah. I bet. They're probably both Demon Mew, to be honest. <laughs> like, looking at these compositions. Yeah. If this... Ooh. Wow. I don't know who I favor here. It looks pretty good for both, or pretty bad for Maybe. both, whatever you want to say. Yeah. Maybe we should have suspect tested Mew instead of Landorus. I, I would have been down Neither for that. Neither of them are ban worthy. Neither are close to ban worthy. Oh yeah, PSA. I would no have ban banned Landorus. Mew. Like... It is not ban worthy at all. Definitely not. I would ban Mew. It's too you annoying. I don't Mew? like dealing with it. Bro, Mew is fine. Uh, it's not broken, but I, it's really annoying for me. I don't like playing against it. All right. Well, but that's just me. But anyway, like... back to the game. <laughs> I don't like playing against Sylveon, yeah. so let's ban Sylveon. Well, that's true. I there's a lot of things I don't like playing against, to be honest. I don't like that's playing against Memoric. Play. Let's ban Memoric. Damn, like yeah. It's considering you can't beat me in CC two v two. I really <laughs> understand that sentiment. You cheated, I think. Um, okay, so one of the biggest questions I think of this game is what set the Celesteela is. If it's flamethrower, it can threaten the the uh, the what you call it, the Ferrothorn. Um, it could Ferrothorn. be like the sub leech yeah. seed set that SMB has been known to run as well. It could be a wackier spec set. Uh, if it's meteor beam, it has one chance to threaten a KO on the Incineroar or the Volcanion. And we see Mew well, lead it, with a Misty Seed. This is Demon Mew. It's gotta be. Yep. Very much demonic indeed. Probably it's, Cosmic Power, the question but now it is, could even be just Iron Defense. If it's... Uh, yeah, it could be Iron Defense. Also, look at Body Press and look at SMB's team. Aside from a Rage Powder on uh, Amoongus, Body Press just destroys SMB. Why would you protect Celesteela? That, that's why you would protect Celesteela. Okay. Well, that for now, and it's for Iron that, Defense. Yeah. Let's it go. It is indeed Body Press. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's an Amoongus coming our way this right now. This is a Rage now, Powdering Amoongus, right? Maybe? I don't do know, dude. Powder. I don't know how SMB does enough damage to Mew. How does SMB deal with Mew? He's got two special Maybe attackers that aren't even that. I guess Meteor Beam from Nihiligo. Do you think this is double Meteor Beam? Maybe SMB, maybe SMB goes to his own Mew and we see one of the worst Demon Mew versus Demon Mew. <laughs> we see, we see so. the finals come down to a PP stall. <laughs> or, or a crit race, like the first one to crit wins or something like that. Uh, I don't even know. Looks like DOU really runs true Mew. I doubt a crit would even kill. But anyways... Uh, well, this Among Us is getting tricked, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it probably is. Do we think this is Scarf or Specs, Feeny? Probably Scarf, right? It's probably Scarf, considering the team is really slow. Incineroar okay, comes see. in. Trick goes off onto <gasps> Incineroar again. I don't understand that. And it's Clear Smog. Of clear Luke. Smog. Yes, no way. That is, well, that Whoa. is the counterplay that we have are looking for clear smog and SMB Lucas, honestly looks like great call to bring safe. versus z great call to bring that's yep. that's a pretty pretty uh reliable demon mew check um z does have tools Whoa. to deal with the amoongus though ice beam porygon 2 flare blitz incinerar heat wave uh volcanion but the problem is amoongus can switch in pretty reliably on mew at any point during the game and get a clear smog off so we see Z go for another Iron Defense. Iron Defense again. Ice Beam. This Feeny is just Ice Beam, the thing. Incineroar is choice scarfed, so you can pretty easily scout and yep. switch around. And we the see the comes in. Doing 33% to Mew. That's pretty solid damage. That's in range of Meteor yeah, Beam. Yeah, this Mew is going to die. That's in range yep. of Meteor Beam. 
something it looks like Zefable is gonna pay the price here. Uh, Zefable does have Ferrothorn, which does wall Nihilego pretty hard, and SMB's Incineroar is choice scarf. It's true, but so you can very easily scout it's... the Flare Blitz the next turn. All right, I like this switch for Z. And reading yep, Z aggressively like a book, goes Incineroar into comes Incineroar. Back in. And then 25% chip off of the Porygon 2, but no Sledge chance to bomb. poison because of the Disney terrain. Mm. Yep. So now what set is this Ferrothorn? I think... It, well, it could be a lot of different things. It could also be double iron defense, <laughs> and it assault. can't be clear oh. smogged. It could be assault vest, it could be rocks, That's it could be leech brazy. seed. It could be a lot of different things. Nah, damn. And we Incineroar see Incineroar on come to... in. I don't understand that. Oh, Porygon lives. Please tell me you recovered. Well, to, me, to do that. Okay, you recovered. <laughs> to do uh, that. You probably... You, you must fake the out fable got and that. go and recover yeah. again, right? That's your only play. I think you trick room here. Well, JK, there's a, an Among Us. Why I think I you fake out that? the go and recover. I think that's your move. And then... Yeah, but... But, but this Incineroar and yeah. Nihiligo kind of lock down Z's team. Right? The only switching you really have for Nihiligo is is uh, Ferrothorn. But Ferrothorn dies to a Blitz. Which... Nope, we see Amoongus come out. It's still to it. And we see Porygon yep, that's... 2. Trick uh, Room! All right. hedge. Yep. Uh, that was a good way to check this play by his Fable, which was to go hard among us. Yeah. So that S so SMB gets a free spore. Well, it's not totally free considering Zephable has a Ferrothorn to go into. Also has a Feeny, but I don't think Feeny is going to make an appearance in this position considering there is a plus one Hilego. This Incineroar could also well, maybe... be safety goggles, but that's extremely unlikely given the Feeny and the, the Ferrothorn. Much more likely boots yep. or citrus. Probably boots. It could possibly be HD. And we see Incineroar well. gets spored and well, Sludge Bomb Thorn's instead. in a good spot. But um you're definitely liking SMB's positioning here. Or rather, I'm liking SMB's yep. positioning here. Z has to do a lot of dancing and uh there's nothing on Z's team that outspeeds Sanaya Ligo. Porygon two can set up Trick Room, but yep. Porygon two is only at fifty three percent. Uh which is obviously not enough to do too much. Well, I guess you can set up a trick room. But even once trick room's up, Amoongus just comes in. So, I I, I think this Nihiligo this wins this game. I think you protect Nihiligo, you bring Incineroar in. Yep. Yep. And it is double iron defense! Let's iron go! Def <laughs> it's, that's crazy! You doubted that's me! That's fucked up! You doubted! That's fucked up! Let's go! No! <laughs> Oh my That's goodness. So this could win the up. game if it's not Flamethrower or Celesteela. This could totally win this the game. Body crazy. press! Incineroar! Damn, gone! Drops. Get out of drops. here! Drops. <laughs> Get out of here! Disappear. Crit Mew? Never heard Wait, of it. What's a critical hit? hit? I don't know what that is. Can't get clear smog, can't get spored. It's double it demon. It all depends on what set. <laughs> Celesteela is if it's flamethrower or not. I think me. It also depends on what the Mew is. Like what do for you think some, the last two moves like, are. It on? could be a lot of things that could be really, really bad for Zephable. So I'd still be wary of that. What do we think the last two moves on uh, Ferrothorn are? I'm gonna guess Leech Seed Protect. Ferrothorn. I'm not. Probably it's. I'm gonna guess it's leftovers really, really with Leech Seed and Protect. That's my guess. And if it's leftovers with Leech Seed and Protect, then uh, SMB, you're fucked, my dude. Unless you have Flamethrower on that Steela, you are major bone. <laughs> okay, Steela so coming Stila. out. I guess if it's yeah, this Meteor is a Beam Air Slash, this. you could maybe have a chance as this. well. But realistically, mm -hmm. Z is fucking SMB up right now. You can't be Rage Powdered either. So it just completely ignores Amoongus. Yep. Completely ignores Amoongus and just body presses the other slot. Yeah, and I can't believe and, it's and actually. If we're gonna be real, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Meteor Beam Celesteela doesn't carry Flamethrower that often because Air Slash and Flash Cannon are really really good moves to have on it. It usually does not, but never count SMB out of anything. Yes, 
Yep, indeed. But you still have two fire types. You still have Incineroar and you still have Volcanion, so you're okay. And you have well, Trick Room. Well, and Gun sending too. out fire types against Nihiligo is uh, it's a little something something. You know, and if you know what I'm saying. So they kind of get pinned down. All right, what does Celesteela go for? Is it Flamethrower? We do not see Protect. And it's Fire Blast! Come on, fire see, blast. you gotta scout for that. You know Cook. SMB. Oh, dude. Cook. Z, Cook. you know Cook. better than that. All right, all right. Well, it's, this it is, is a defensive Celesteela, You gotta right? fake out the Steela because and leech see the Nihiliga, right? Does Power Gem kill? Does Power Gem kill? Probably. Oh, Z, that was such a bad turn. I would cock that. Oh, I would have protected Z. this Ferratorn. Because, well, if if Zephable doesn't body press, then he'll go there. This Incineroar switch does not make any sense because you need. I I personally only really do that switch if the Ferratorn is pinning this Nihilego. Power Gem kills. Yep, uh, it does that's go down. Game. Yep. That's game. Invitationals go Let's to SMB. Game. This Nihiligo sweeps. Did that Ferrothor not have well, that, Protect? Yeah. What is that set? Maybe this is a mystery that we will never, ever solve. I, I don't see how Z wins this game, though. Um, this is a pretty free double yeah. up into Porygon, right? Yep. Well, I don't know. The, this is a pretty this free anything, to be maybe, honest. This is a pretty free anything you want to do. Yeah, we're gonna see a double up into Porygon. Yeah, but yeah, you just get you just remove the trick room setter completely, avoid yep. any funny business. And now, I mean, maybe there's have a to go in sin. But yeah, also now, they, look at Kiram. Kiram or, goes in now with the P two and the Ferrothorn gone and the Incineroar in already. Um, Kiram's in yep, a great the spot. The Mew is at ten HP. Mew's at uh, SMB's Mew's at a hundred and hasn't revealed a single move yet. Amoongus is at 100%, right? Pretty much at 100. Yeah. Yep. And these are two fire types against two things that run rock moves. Um, yep. I this doubt is, this, um, this is has probably a rock move. I'd be really surprised. It could. I, it could. It totally could. Actually, it doesn't reveal leftovers. It totally could have a rock move. Oh. Um, I don't know. Okay. We see Chip go off onto Volcanion. Is a rock move, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think it, it's, the, it's not yeah, even it's meter, not meter beam. beam. It's not even meter beam. No, it's not meter beam. Damn. Could be goggles. Three Probably, goggles. yeah. Uh, but anyways, SMB just takes a one for one trade there. Um, the Nihiligo was very valuable, but doesn't really matter. Uh, one for one trade. Well, I, ho up five to I hope this Tapufini. I hope this Tapufini is uh, muddy waters and muddy water accuracy all drop for the SMB's win. SMB's moves. <laughs> SMB, yeah. Just to make the game spicy, but no, oh, it has Hydro great Pump protect instead. On Steela. Double. Yep. Memo, you're gonna have to commentate for the next thirty seconds. I gotta go run and grab something. Oh, uh, I. What can I even say here? Um, SMB. All, all SMB has to do is click Rage Powder to redirect the top of the Hydro Pump and just to keep the Celesteela safe. The Aka Berry Salt on the Wound for Zephable. And this Celesteela is gonna claim this Incineroar 100% of the time unless a miracle happens like Muddy Water drop, if it's even Muddy Water. But yeah, could Air Slash could miss, it does not, Incineroar goes down and this is looking more and more like a wrap considering Mew is a 10% HP and it looks, it doesn't look like it should have moves for this Celesteela. Alrighty, I'm back. Yep, oh my and god, it's over. just what the fuck? forfeits and it that's all she wrote. Ladies and wow. gentlemen, SMB finally takes down the circuit championship after all this time. At Z, what was the Pharaoh moveset? Um wow, okay. So SMB said I think no earlier to an interview after the game, unfortunately, but Yep. That's okay. Um press Leech? Press leech. I know, but did it? We know that. That's probably last move protect. Probably last move protect if it's leech. Probably though. Yep. 
Yeah, but that that game, those three games, uh, well, maybe except the second one because that really was just a stomp. But game games one and three were really, really like back and forth kind of games. Yeah, they were all a ton of fun. Really cool teams. Honestly, great plays. Um, I, I don't think either player played poorly. Um, really, the only thing that stands out to me yep. is if C had protect on Ferrothorn to protect that turn. That's really the only thing that I can think of uh, that I would have done differently or that, you know, th it, obviously retrospect easy, but th there's a reason why they're, these people yeah, are in, the, in like, the finals and not me. But, uh, you know, yeah, if I could change oh. one of these plays, it would be that one there. Yeah, it was just a. It was uh, a bit of a tough matchup too, considering it was two fire types and a slow team overall against Nihilego and Asil Stila that just had the right the right moves for the game, like a fire blast exactly for the Ferrothorn, which was really really unfortunate for Zephable, but yep. really really paid off for S and B. Oh, Z uh, pasted some teams. It is yep. protect on the Ferrothorn. It is protect. Hmm, Toxic and Ice Beam on P2. Expert Belt Volcanion. That's neat. That's actually really cool. I like that. Nice. Stealth Rock, Landorus. Gyro Ball Body. That, the stack attack, I had no rock move. That's interesting. Taunt Helping Hand, Serena. Yeah, I don't. Wow. Yeah, they usually don't have the space. And Mystic Water Volcano, uh, the other mean, team. Interesting team, see. Interesting teams. Yep. Wow. All right. Well, Mystic Water definitely makes sense there. It's a really aggressive team. But yeah. Yep. Well, thanks for joining, Memo. Fun as always. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, yep. Thanks Had for watching, everybody. Catch you later. Ha. Yep. See you guys around.